What's going on everybody, it's Delmar and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you another prototype with a brain-computer interface. In this case, it's the Crown. And we're gonna be using the Crown to do a prototype where we are gonna be thinking about a thought of moving our left arm. And if the probability goes beyond 0.9, we're going to be turning the light on. If the probability goes beneath that number, we're going to be turning the light off. I'm gonna be basically walking you through some of the analytics that are provided by Neurocity Console, which will give you information about brain waves, information about awareness, either focus or calm, and also different thoughts that you can train depending on the actual part of your body that you're thinking about. So if I want to think about moving my left arm, if I want to think about moving my right arm, that it's going to allow you to train those kind of thoughts, which is gonna be really powerful when it comes to building more immersive experience with XR. So let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. A couple of things to look at in the console that they provide is you can see whether the device is currently connected, Wi-Fi, what the battery power is, and also the activity log. So I haven't been using this for too long, so I just don't have as many snapshots. But if you want to start the metrics, you can click in here and start that and start the metric prediction. And also determining, I think this one is really important because you want to make sure that you get 100% signal quality because if you're doing training, and we're going to be talking about more, how that training works. You wanna make sure that this is, you know, positioned correctly on your head so that we get the best signal quality. So I use this quite a bit for that. Also, you can track different metrics. They have two different awareness metrics. One of them is calm, the other one is focus. And then kinesis is everything where you're thinking about, you know, motion. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking about moving my left arm, moving my right arm, basically one of the fingers in my hands. You can also, do a training for that. And we're gonna be using the left arm training in Unity and I'm gonna show you how we can turn a light on and turn a light off based on the numbers that we get from that prediction. So the other thing that I can also do here, you can also look at, so if I wanted to change this one to be a different one, you can go ahead and stop it and then select perhaps the focus and then hit start. And then if I am focusing, you can kind of see that number changing. Currently I'm not focused because I'm currently I'm currently talking, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into training. You can see that I already tried to do a left arm training, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. We're gonna go here, and there's multiple motions uh, that you can do, dots that you can train. I'm gonna do the left arm, and I'm gonna just go through this and show you the results at the end. All right, guys, and the training ended, and that was actually a good experience. I I needed to focus quite a bit. So what I can do now is I can try what's called Kinesis and you're gonna see that now you can select from here. It's, it'll show you that there's a Kinesis for left arm. And if I hit star, I'm gonna try to concentrate. And I'm thinking that I'm moving my arm. I'm gonna try to reach the portrait that I have in front of me. And, and it's hard to tell, but it is it is working because I am doing an effort to, to try to reach with my left arm and thinking about motion. So, so that's working. You can also track the stats in here. And we can go here and you can see that now we have the, the left arm currently working. So the next thing that you can also do is you can go into brain waves. And this is for some of you who are more interested in how this information comes in from the actual sensors on the, on the BCI device, you're gonna see all those curves, it has out of scale, you can set it to no out of scale. There's also absolute, absolute power by hand, PSD symmetry, some of these things I have no idea what they are. All I'm gonna show you is what you have available. I am a programmer and extended reality developer, but some of these things are beyond my comprehension, so just know that this information is in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I, I have, there's a repo that Ryan Turney created that allows you to interact with the also the, the crown device. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone it and then show you what we need to do to, to get the information that we need to get from Kinesis. So if we go back in here, remember that we did the, the Kinesis left arm. So I wanna detect that and get those stats into Unity. So I got the project already cloned and I'm not gonna go through every little thing in here because this will take a, a really long uh, demo of what, how everything works. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Kinesis section and then as soon as I get everything set up, I'll just give you a walkthrough of the entire project.
All right, guys, so I did a lot of stuff and I'm gonna be walking you through as soon as I show you the, the demo. So I just wanna make sure that we can log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And then as soon as I hit play, I'm gonna be able to look at the logs and see what's happening. Remember that I added, if you saw when I was going really fast, that I added all the lights that I currently have. So you can kind of see the lights that I have right now in the Philips Hue are coming back okay. Let me see if I can get information from the actual brain device. I'm gonna to try to log in. You can see that as soon as I log in, every single other option becomes available. Let me go ahead and do that one more time. I'm gonna hit play and see that everything is disabled. As soon as I hit play and hit login and the login is successful, it's gonna enable everything. I'm gonna clear the log and then subscribe to Kinesis. So remember, this is the one on the left arm. I'm gonna to try to focus on the left arm and we're getting an error on, okay, so yeah, we're getting an error because I never associated the the actual text. So if we go into the Notion tester and we add and associate the text box, which is, we just add it. You can see here that we're getting predictions from the movement of the left arm, which is actually pretty cool. And okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and hit login. And I'm gonna subscribe to Kinesis so we can get those values. I'm gonna try to focus on moving and I am moving and moving and you can see that we are hitting basically we're hitting those numbers and yep and, and everything and that seems to be working the the light is not coming on and I'm gonna I'm gonna just check on that really quick here and if you look at this this is postman this is how I was able to connect to my Philips hue lights and the way that I can do this is I can you know if I want to do a get and I send a get I'm going to get all the information about all the different lights the state the brightness the effect and information that the API provides but I can also change the state of this so if I go here for instance and I'm going to try to turn the light on and it actually turned turn on you can't see it just yet but I'm going to show you just in just a second I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to false and then just make sure that it, it does get set to false. I'm gonna look at the posing here and I'm glad that we're, that we're getting these errors because that way we can we can figure it out. So, so this is the issue. I use the same variable multiple times. It's supposed to be put here and not the get. It, this was basically empty. And let me go ahead and connect the camera and show you the results of this. All right guys, so I got everything connected. I have the light that we're going to be turning on right here. I also have the device on me. So I hit play in Unity. If you log in, we should be able to log in to the console. And as soon as I subscribe, I'm gonna try to focus and focus that I'm moving my hand. The light's still off. Come on, there we go. Still moving my hand. Uh, it went off. Let me try that. Okay. So I'm still getting a high prediction, right? High prediction because I'm thinking that, but if I were to not think about it, you're gonna see it went off. So I'm not moving my hand right now. And, and you can see that the probability it's a lot lower. Okay, so just to give you a walkthrough of what I added, I added a new button in here to the Notion Unity package that I had downloaded. Because it didn't have Kinesis, I also added the value. And if you go into the Notion tester, I'm gonna show you also what I ended up adding. So we just got a new binding of a text box and also a button. And if you go down here, you're gonna see that the subscribe Kinesis is a little bit more extensive, but all it is is I'm basically just passing in a label, also the minimum probability. And then this allows me to not always send, you know, send back information to Unity. I'm gonna get it, but I'm not gonna do anything with it. So if the probability it's greater than this number, then I'm gonna do something with it. I also ended up adding an action because I wanted to, to basically call into the light controller to update the light state. So this allows me to control if the probability is greater than, you know, 0 0.9, which I know that anything beyond that or equal to that, it's gonna be more likely that I'm thinking about that motion. And then I'm just changing the, the light state, either in this case gonna be true, otherwise it's going to be false. And you probably saw that I also added a new class. This is the class, uh, the, the JSON object that gets return when the the console and when i say console i'm talking about the neurosity api implementation they send this information back and i just basically created this object and if you look at the kinesis handler this is basically inheriting from imetric handler there's multiple handlers in here i just follow the same pattern that the creator of this repo had and i just added this this is the metric this is the label that we're going to be tracking this is the minimum probability this is an action that I'm gonna be executing with the flow, and in this case, it's gonna be the probability that I'm getting from the predictions. And I also implemented my own handle method, which comes from this. So if you look at it, this is just an interface. 
And then I'm just overriding, basically defining what the interface is gonna do. I am deserializing, I'm using JSON convert to deserialize to Kinesis, which is the object. And then I'm just going through all the predictions and if any of those predictions have a number greater than the minimum probability, then I know that the prediction is, is what I'm looking for. And then I just printed it out to a log and then I call our method, which is gonna be the callback with the probability that we need, which in our case, I am I'm just accessing the light controller. So light controller is pretty simple. I just, you know, I'm using the Philips Hue and I'm just for now, I just got an on and off. And this is available if you're using the Philips Hue hub, this is going to be available for you. Just get the IP address. And then if you do API and then a user, if you're more interested about how to make this work, let me know in the comments and I'll give you a tutorial about this. But all you need to know is that this implementation in here, it's how you can control the lights. I have my own implementation of a REST client. So that's what I ended up using for this. If you want this project, let me know. I'll put it in GitHub and, and this, this REST web client actually is available in GitHub already, but if you want the whole project as a whole as it is, let me know and I'll go ahead and, and upload it. But I'm passing in the IP address of my lights and then the user ID. This is something that I got by setting up the API for Philips here. And then the light ID in my case, I just wanna, I have multiple lights, but the, the first light is the one that I'm, that I'm only interested on, but you can, you know, you can override that because it's serializable. You can pass it, you know, a different ID through the inspector. This is just to store the get URL, the put URL. This will give you all the different lights that you currently have connected to your hub. And then this just allows me to update the state of the light. In my case, I'm saying, okay, light one, just go ahead and change the state. This is gonna be the JSON data that I'm passing in. If I set this to, to true, it's gonna set this to true, which means the light is going to be on. If I set it to false, the light's gonna be false. And I'm always passing the brightness equal to 100. You can change this if you like. And then I'm just doing a put, which is similar to what you would do in Postman, you would just do put this in the body, put the URL, and then hit send. So this is just how we do it in Unity. And then on the awake method, I'm just calling in to get light. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys have any questions about these or you want more detailed tutorials on how to use the BCI for other use cases, let me know and make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's going to allow me to, uh, you know, bringing, bringing you more tutorials in the near future. Thank you very much, guys.